everybody, Eric from Lock and Lunatics, we're at it again. We are back at the 20 by 70. This thing's gigantic. It's taking a long time to go through, but we are finding some awesome stuff. If you missed the last video, better go check it out. We found one hell of a diamond in the rough. Or was it rough? No, it wasn't rough at all, but it was a diamond. Anyway, let's get back in here, see what we got. Ah! The biggest door in the world. Da -da -da! Some of the stuff you've seen right here in the front, we just need to move it back out. We load the van each time. Still working on getting the Sprinter van uh, back in business. It'd be really nice to have Sprinter van right now. Right. Well, just give us a second. I'm going to clear some of this stuff out and we'll get back into here to digging. All right, guys. Um, my, my somebody, how about you? If you understood that, you know me well. All right. My game plan today, I'm going to try to bring some boxes and some bags and some try and find some more personal stuff to bring up here and go through. But I just want to show you some of these that we moved out. These are a bunch of really cool lamps. I don't know how much of that you've seen in other videos, but these are pretty cool looking little lamps. That's for sure. We got some cool candle holders, some things like that. They were all kind of just sitting in this area. But I'm going to run back. What I'm going to do is just look for stuff in boxes. Look for some more bags. I know there's some totes here and there. I'm going to try and get a few of those up here and then we'll go through them up here. So I will be right back. See you in a second. All right, guys. Found this great big trunk. It's a cool trunk. Or not trunks, but and it is heavy. It's on wheels. Have a good feeling about that. But before we get into that, let's get into some of this other stuff that I brought up here. That one, that's it, guys. That's going to be the jewelry. That's going to be the guns. That's going to be the silver and the gold. Because it's heavy. All right. Let's just start here. Go through some of these real quick. Oh, it just looks like all brand new weird little things little measuring cups brand new little martini glasses brand new well brand new used goodwill oh she liked her goodwill that's just regular green that's not uranium glass and we've got a was it, crackling glass book and oh we found all that crackle glass in that last time uh, I'll have to show you guys some of those pieces that are really cool. There's one piece in that crackle glass stuff that's like a $400 piece. So, so that's good. Here, I'm going to set this to the side here. Glass. Oh, I didn't put the backpack in. Backpack, backpack. This one is going to be weird because I tried to open up. Looks like it opens on this side. So we'll open it there. See if we can't move stuff around in it. Let's get it closed up again. Da da da. Oh, wow. Got a bunch of brand new makeup. Looks like it here. Here, I'm gonna grab what just fell. Well, that was brand new, but the lid came off and it bounced around. All right, what do we got here? That looks like all. Well, there's a shaver. Maybe the oh, homemade is more personal. I hope so, because that's where we'll find jewelry. But this all looks like. Is it used? Most of it looks brand, brand spanking new. Compacts. So you're looking for that jewelry. Ooh, max pads. I want those. That's not. That's not the jewelry I want. It's fashionable, but no. Oh, okay. Come oh, on. Where's the jewelry? Where's the jewelry, guys? If you remember that last video, where did we find the ring? Not in the jewelry box. It was in with the perfumes and stuff. Was that another phone? Did we get another? Up. Oh, got another phone. It'll be our second phone of the uh, of this unit. Um. Lots of brand new stuff in here though, for sure. Little eyelashes. Lots of brand new makeup. That'll sell good at the yard sale. I mean, makeup's expensive when you figure a buck a piece for new stuff. They like that. There's some stuff to do your toes down there. There's a little uh, blowout brush. Healthy heat blowout brush. This is all going to be new stuff. All new stuff. That's all new. All new. We got missing one fingernail polish, but all, basically all new stuff. All right, on here. See, that's been opened, so that's used, and it's spilled in there. That's, that's not lovely. Let's just kind of look down in there a little bit, make sure there's no jewelry. Oh, I really want to find some more of that jewelry. I'm on the hunt now. Give somebody a little tease. They can't quit. This is definitely more personal type stuff, but... Yeah, I'm not seeing no jewelry stuff down in there, that's for sure. All right, we'll be able to find a phone in that one. Uh, I'll take the phone for sure. Take that phone, see if it works. 
trunk is over there eyeballing me, man. I really want to get into that trunk. Here, let me get by you real quick. And I will put this away. There you go. Everybody, uh, everybody say hi to Ashley today. She's uh, filming for me. This is toilet paper. Now, you know, I think COVID's going to come back because of the elections. You know, that's how that works. And monkeypox, this might be a valuable commodity, Sam. Got to be able to wipe that butt ox. All right, get that out of the way. Right here we've got a brand new little pet bed, some pet dishes, um, ooh, another old timey phone, oh I wish that bake light wasn't broke, look at that, that's the real deal right there guys, that's old stuff, that's cool, that is cool, antiques and brand new stuff man, you just can't gauge this locker, a couple little globes, Pretty basic gloves, but if you find the lamp they go to, it'd be nice to have. All right, now this, probably just clothes. But are they brand new clothes? Nope, let's see what we got. Big old, just fluffy pillow. And it looks like pillows, just pillows. All right, just pillows in that one, don't care. Don't want it, don't know, don't care. Now this one says clothes. But it's got a weird sound to it. it doesn't quite sound like clothes. Oh, let's see here. What we got? Man, I hope everybody out there is having a great day today. Appreciate you watching and hanging with us. Oh, we got some shoes. All right. Let's see if we got anything good though. Yeah. Yeah. Got the toes. Yeah. All right. These are Goodwill new. But here we do have a bunch of like. This isn't clothes at all. This looks like it might be all shoes all the way down. Look some of these up, see if we got any winners in there. Brand new. No, she shopped at TJ Maxx a lot, we know that. But these look like this is all shoes. There's no clothes in there, it's shoes all the way down, guys. Oh, they're kind of cool. Too bad the rainbow. Well, not too bad they have a rainbow, too bad they have our rainbow. And them. All brand new. Clarence 15, I'm not seeing anything down there that says Nike or anything like that. Seems to be all these kind of shoes. Oh, we got an orange box. Let me make sure it's not Nike. <gasps> there is a Nike box. All right. Let's make a mess now. They're very light, so what are they? Still, look at that, brand new Nikes. All right, got our receipt in here. She paid $40 for them when she bought them on clearance, I would imagine. Everything she's bought was pretty much all on clearance. And on the tag it says uh, eighty dollars, so they're definitely on clearance. There's some kind of different boots. All right, I don't see any more Nikes down in there? I do not. Oh, 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 I don't see any more Nikes. Oh, wait, right no, there might be. All right, little flippers. I see one more Nike box, guys. Uh oh, another light pair though. These were on clearance for fifty. There you go. Look at that, brand new though. Alright, that, that, these have got to be 50, 60 bucks at least. That's how much were they new. They're suggested at $90, but new Nikes don't lose their value. So that's cool. I'm making a big mess here, sorry about that. Oh boy. Guys, look at this unit. Look back in there. Look how far we still have to go. Look at all that. I hope you guys aren't getting bored with this one. It seems to be really repetitive. Um, but we keep finding cool stuff every time, so let's see what we can find today. Alright, so we've seen that box. We'll take a break here in a minute and clean this mess up that we got going on. This looks like jeans, but are they new or are they with tag? They are Goodwill, so they are Goodwill new. So we've got a bunch of jeans, but it's all jeans in there. Oh, what we got? We got, looks like brand new, there's brand new sports bras and stuff. What's that? Nope, that's like a girdle. That's a sports bra. Isn't it? Yeah. So these are all brand new tags. So, you know, yeah, looks like workout stuff. So my wife might claim some of that and some anybody else because we do have a seamstress. My mother-in-law will fix anything that doesn't fit anybody. She's awesome. All right. These look like just like little bedroom set things. A little twin. And this looks like the same thing. This one is twin too. It's a twin, so a couple twin bed matches things. 
Ooh, gotta be careful. Heard something hit on the bottom of that one. I thought it was gonna be closed again. I'm trying to untie these, so bear with me. Come on, you can do it. I don't wanna cut them. Good bags, good bags. All right, well, I'm messing with this, man. You guys see my shirt today? Check that out. They do not run, they reload. America, remember that. Put it in the comments, guys, America. Ugh. Is this fun? Is this exciting? Am I entertaining you with my untying skills? I can't do it. All right, we got it. What is it? It is a, <laughs> a stuffed cupcake. That's exactly what I was hoping for. Uh, we got lots of uh, Valentine's lights and bears and a sweater. So random. So, so random, but I want to get to the bottom because it clunked when I got to the bottom of this one. Um, this bag, all brand new stuff. Looks like brand new shoes. Uh, brand new pants and clothes. So, everything in there is brand new. This looks like more brand new with tags. All brand new with tags. That's Walmart, only 12 bucks. This stuff, guys, will be going right out onto our dollar table at our yard sale. Uh, which we plan on having not this coming weekend, but the weekend of The first weekend of the month basically is where it'll be. Ooh. Hey guys. Okay. Check these out $199 and 95 cents 99 cents. Those are brand new. Those might be That's a good little eBay item right there. Have to look those up and see but at a $200 price tag Let's say if we just get 50 bucks. That's a good bag. That's a really good bag. All right, here we go. Getting down into here to what clunk. What was making the noise? What was making the noise? Let's see this. Ah. Little decorations for around the house. Come and gather at our table. You're not going to get anything. You're just going to be there with us. And little shelves. Farm fresh eggs. Little stuff like that. Oh, another pair of shoes. More brand new shoes down in here. Yep, just little house chalkies like that. What else was down here clunking? Ooh, see that was glass. Whatever I threw down in here, <laughs> it feels like it might have been glass. Is it a candle? I bet you it's a candle. We're doing good in this unit with candles. And as my buddy Mark would say, that is useless, useless, use, usage profit. There we go. I can say it. Not useless profit. It is a candle. Let's hope this one smells good. Let's see what we got. Cozy, creamy brown sugar. Yeah, it's okay. Nothing to write home about, but it's okay. You know, one candle we got out of that glass display case here was phenomenal smelling. Let's see if we got any more stuff like that down in there. Nope, I'm feeling stuffed animals and clothes. All right, that's that for that bag. All right, we're getting close to the trunk. We got two more little bags here, and then we're gonna get to that trunk. Okay, this bag here looks like I would say new with tags. I don't know what it is. Let's see, I'm seeing tags in here, lots of tags, all new with tags. A Kappa crested something hat. But all this, as you can see, just close with tags. And we'll go through it, like $14. That's gonna go on our dollar table. Unless it's something that was like really expensive, it's going on the dollar table. Like right here's brand new jeans, but they were clearance for like two bucks, normally 16. That'll go right on our dollar table. We'll let some of the Local people get some good deals. They love to, love to come get the clothes. This just feels, this, this actually, the pillow smells really horrible and there's a rug in there. One of the two, we know that they had a cat or something because we keep finding sprayed items. Um, okay, to the trunk, but first, we take a quick break and put this stuff in the car. All right guys, it's that time. Oh my God, this thing's heavy. This is either all the guns or all the glassware in the world. What would you put in a heart tote with a handle that is this big? It almost looks like an ice chest though, doesn't it? It's got like the scale on it for your fish. It's got your cup holders. But it's not, is this an ice chest? Are they calling it an ice chest? Rolling tool chest. They're calling it a tool chest. All right, so moment of truth. Now, this is hard from Walmart, so I don't know how much the totes were. It's built for a tote. 
We got money. <laughs> oh, the jars might be worth just as much as the man a backpack. Oh my god! Please be quarters. There, this is mostly quarters. This is all silver and mostly quarters. There's probably there's got to be a couple hundred bucks minimum in there, maybe more. Oh my gosh, that's why it was heavy. All right, and look at this. It's almost, oh shit. <laughs> this is all oh. All pennies, it looks like. But once again, you probably have 40, 50 bucks in pennies there. And uh, okay, what we got here? Oh, oh, this is heavy too, guys. This is all money. Oh my gosh, look at that. Oh, is that all pennies too, though? Yeah, it's all pennies too with that bottle. These bottles are cool. Oh my gosh. What else do we got? Oh, there's more in here. Oh yeah. More quarters, dimes, nickels. That's all the silver. All right, <laughs> yo yo, yes. I need something to kneel down on. Uh oh, we got more in here. Look, more silver. Just, just silver. Okay, we're gonna go through the rest of that backpack. Let's throw this in here. All right. Also oh, got a couple more pieces of silver down in there. That's it for that. Was not expecting that. Uh oh, what we got in here? It's just credit cards and stuff. I think these are tags and receipts. Tags and receipts. TJ Maxx. Boy, she shopped there a lot. All right, let's see. Nothing in there. There's something in there. Hair tie. And another hair tie. But yeah, it has a really nice little backpack, too, on top of everything. What is that? Adreni. What is that? Is that Vitardini? <laughs> it's Vitardini. But all right, that's really cool. But hey, that's all it's, and that's the bottom. That's all that was in there was money. We'll have to get a total on how much was there. There's got to be, I would say, $300 there maybe, somewhere in that area. Oh, it's a good thing that stuff wasn't visible in the in the pictures that they had or, whew. But the, I was excited about the tote, but it's not the guns. Let's keep looking. Give us a second. We're going to pick this up, and we will dig some more stuff out and go through it. All right, guys, so we're doing a little unearthing, and we found well, there's a couple cool pictures here, of course, but there's a bumper pull table. I was like, boy, I sure do hope we find the bumper pull balls. I was back in that corner digging out some totes, and I think we found the bumper pull table balls. So, awesome. So we might have all of that. So I brought this little pile here out. Let's take a look, see what we found. Of course, this feels like a Christmas wreath. And Christmas items. That's all that's going to be. Christmas, Christmas, Christmas. Which isn't far away. We got this box here that is literally falling apart. Let's see if we can get underneath it. See what it was or what it's supposed to be. Oh, it looks like a microscope. Yeah. Old microscope in a box. That box has seen much better days. And a miniature pool table underneath that. I don't hear the balls rolling around, but I see the pull sticks on there. All right, let's get to this one here. Box number one. A lot more jewelry, I want to get more personal. This looks like all new with tags. New with tags. But all new, new with tags. There's the tags right there. Isn't it? Where's that? I thought I seen a tag. Yeah, there they are. Where are they? Where's it at? Where's it at? There's the, there it is. Yep, all new with tags. So just a bunch more clothes, all new with tags, sweaters. There's pants down there, everything new with tags. She definitely liked to shop. Definitely liked to shop. All right, here we go. We got a bag here. This looks like oh, there's hangers in there. That military. That almost looks like military. There. We got a military jacket there. Yeah, that's military. Yeah, that's military. A little green military jacket. That's cool. Looks like these are all. Just jackets, possibly their personal stuff. I don't see tags on these. Timberwolf. Yep. This looks like just clothes. Let's go around here, see if there's anything else. No, that's got a tag from Goodwill. So, yeah, there is stuff in here, but we got something in the bottom. Looks like a picture frame. Right? Oh, it's light up. One of those little, oh, oh. And there's like one, two, three, four different ones of those. And that's all that's in there. 
clothes and light up pitches. What a combination. That's how I pack. Like, hey, look, here's my socks. What should we put in there? How about some framed art? All right, we got a little basket. Looks like it's got a globe inside. It's some kind of candle. I bet you that's probably, yeah, looks still brand new. So, yeah, there's a tag, there's a tag. So it was on clearance for $14. All right, get that out of the way. Let's try a tote. Let's see if we have any better luck with totes. There's a tote. Get back. Black and yellow, black and yellow. More clothes. You can see they had a, a cat. There's cat hair on there. But are these new? There's new with tags. New with tags. New with tags. Guys, it's all new with tags. This feels like all clothes all the way down. And it's all new with tags. Um, like I said, if it, unless it's like a very expensive pair of, uh, of jeans or a nice shirt, one dollar a piece at the yard sale. No matter what they say, those should sell pretty quick. Any resellers could do well with that. Oh, jump number two. All right. What do we got here? Well, that's kind of cool. Some kind of crest for the wall. I don't know how that's supposed to work. Oh, I think it's for like magazines or envelopes. Something like that. We got that. We got a mirror, a blood pressure cup, more home just decor, a little shelf, a little clock, a little slingshot. What's this? This might be good. This might be good. This might be good. Nope, that's newer. I was hoping that was an old, old timey thermometer, but it's newer. Newer, just a repop, just to look good. Got some dishes in there. Okay, never mind. I thought this was a slingshot. It is not. I think it's for a tray or something to sit on, I think. I don't know. That's where I'm going with it anyway. All right, nothing too spectacular there. See, we found the money. Now everything seems like boo. But uh, all good garage sale stuff, nonetheless. All good garage sale stuff. What else we got? Here we go. Grab this little box. There's nothing going to be anything special in here. You know, a little light. Is it short? Nope. Uh, looks like part of a wagon. This is a, looks like an iPod is what it looks like. High definition digital video camera. Okay, let's see if that's what's in it. Is it used? That stuff looks, yeah, this looks used. It's pretty, ew, it's got that sticky feeling. Ew, like the sticky rubber. Ew, ew, okay, let's put that back. That felt gross. Oh, <laughs> still sticky. All right, little, uh, a little cock in the box. It's my cock in a box. Uh, we got a solar powered light. It looks like a submersible for like a fountain. That's actually probably worth a couple dollars. We've got fogging oil. Stops corrosion in stored engines. Okay, we got some glue and this is a digital camcorder 180 degree flip it was on clearance for 25 dollars a long time ago it's probably basically worthless now and that's all that was in that box that camera is gross <laughs> all right get that out of the way we got this so much weird new stuff back there it looks like more new stuff we got a nike box Do we have more nikes we'll start there that don't feel like nike no, nope, that's not Nike's. Weirdest stuff. Come on, people. There's a mirror. Some smell good stuff. A, a messed up, messed up record. A battery and a used sprayer. Why? Why do you save this stuff? Why? All right, this is a fire cube, and it does not feel like it's in there. Oh, maybe it is. I don't know. I don't know what it's supposed to look like exactly. There's something in there. Nah, that's not it. It's not in there. Just a box. Fake security camera, copper fit gloves. We got a great big thing of uh, replacement light bulbs, a phone charger. Are those arrows? Little arrows for a crossbow, one of those little crossbow gun things. Let's hopefully we'll find uh, what shoots those in here somewhere. And I was gonna say a towel, but that is not a towel. 
soap dispensing brush towel for your dogs. It is a towel, I guess, in a way. And some clippity 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 clips. And that's all that's in that section of this box. Get it out of the way. Get out the way. Get out the way. All right, more stuff. We've got paperwork. I thought it's not what it was on. It's just filled with paperwork. And then this looks like all Christmas icicle lights. Um, what is this? One of those nets that are ice, that are Christmas lights. This is all Christmas. More Christmas lights. Christmas lights. Christmas lights. All Christmas lights. All right. There's that. That was so exciting. All right. Not. 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 not, not another tote. This looks like glassware. At least it's packed like glassware. But is it good glassware? The last glassware we got was really nice. Oh, that's cool. That's odd. Huh. Kind of neat though. So that's kind of cool glassware. That could be worth five dollars. That could be worth fifty dollars. I'm trying to figure that one out. Or I'll drop it on the van and it'll be worth zero dollars. What else we got in here? Let's see if there's anything worth digging out. Okay, guys, it is actually worth digging out. Uh, I was telling you about the crackle glasses that we've had and those crackle, crackle vases. Some of those were worth big, big money. And I think we might have more of that in here. This doesn't feel like crackle glass. Let's see. It is. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. So this stuff here, all hand blown. Uh, some of the pieces, one of the pieces we got the other day is worth $400, one of the vases. So let's uh, carefully see. I don't know if you guys don't like your glassware, I'm actually kind of excited about this, so I want to see it. After seeing what the price comps were on the other stuff that we got. I like crackle glass to begin with, but like this one's got a candle in it, which isn't good. It almost looks like they're gonna crack right there from the candle bouncing around inside. Does it come out? I think they slid it in there so tight that once it was in it wasn't coming out. So that kind of sucks because it probably broke the probably broke the crackle glass. Hoping to find a couple more of the plugs that go in the tops of them. Some regular glasses, regular glasses, regular glasses. But here, I am feeling, yeah. Look at that vase. Another big crackle vase. So that's really, 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 really cool. All of them, day. It's got bugs in it. Big scary bugs. All right, these might, oh, these might be them. Nope, that is a pick. <coughs> excuse, excuse me, it's dusty. <coughs> it has a nice little paperweight though. Not marked. I wish it was marked like Murano or something like that. I was hoping these were some of the quartz for some of the little, some of the smaller vases. We got a little, uh, little donkey. We got a Democrat down there. We'll leave him down in the bottom to be forgotten about. Glasses. Alright, what else we got? This feels like another big crackle piece. Oh, look at that. I bet that's a hundred dollar base. Wow. Once again, all hand blown. That's pretty cool. So this, just glassware, but very cool glassware. Very cool glassware. And that's actually I'd prefer to find that over a lot of different things. I'm going to get this back in here to where the top is closed. Took it out like that. It's going to be close, so we have to be careful with this one. And then right here we got Mr. Uh, flip flop candle. Try and shove something down there so that doesn't move around. Seems like there's another one, wasn't there? Yeah, there's another piece that goes in here. I don't know how. Kind of like folding the map. Once you open it up, they ain't going back together. Uh, let's see what's over here, maybe. Oh, this is that weird piece, that green, funny cork. Yeah, something like that. All right, I'm gonna set this down so as to not get broken. All right, we've got this great big box here, which appears to be all Halloween stuff. Except for this, a baseball book. Anything cool in the baseball book? Were they looking at baseball cards? Nope, just a book. And a book. Greater Lafayette, that's kind of cool. 
We are in Lafayette, Indiana at this unit. We've got little skeletons and little signs. And we guess we, should, guess we should dig down a little bit. That almost sounds like something possibly broken. Not just moving around tonight. But this is all Halloween, it looks like, it appears to be. up somehow. Oh, look at that. Still works. That can't be too old to still be working. Of course, anytime it's got the trimy stuff still on it, it normally works. Oh, look, there's a bird that goes up there, I bet. Up on top. I bet it's in here somewhere. Yep, yeah, there it is, right there. That's the bird that was talking to you. You dare come closer? We got a Gigantic footed ghost. Come on, we're some creepy scary Halloween. We want creepy scary gourds. Just gourds. They're gorgeous. Um, boy, there's nothing cool down in here, guys. I'm not trying to find anything cool. I'm not seeing anything too cool. Just cheap Halloween. What do we got here? Yeah, there's stuff like that. And then put a candle in it. Uh, dig right here. There's something else down. Ooh, that's a big piece. This might be cool. It's big. Big Halloween piece. And we love Halloween, but we don't like the cheapy tchotchkes like this. But this is great garage sale stuff this time of year. Let's see if we got a price on that. I'm look for this. Does it say? It does not say. Uh, but that's still pretty cool. If it's trying me, does this one still work? It does, but it's very, very faint. But okay, that's still a cool piece though. That's probably a good 15, 20 bucks. We got some mats, some welcome mats, and then just some like this kind of decoration stuff. Like this. Halloween one side, Thanksgiving on the other. All right, that's that for right now. I'm going to uh, get this stuff in the car, see where we're at, see what we can get back in to get, see if there's still room, and we'll go from there. Be right back. All right, guys, I just want to grab the camera real quick, come back here and show you a little something. I don't know how dark it's going to get, but I'm hoping everybody's not getting bored with this unit because this unit has a lot more stuff to give. This is going to be your guys' I think, first sneak peek kind of as far back as I can go. If it gets too dark, I'm sorry. I'm going to go down this little aisle here. As you can, oh, I just ran into something, sorry. As you can see, I mean, there is beautiful furniture. There is just stuff everywhere I don't want to give any spoilers I just wanted you to see what we're up against like like standing right here we are a good 15 feet from that back wall and underneath these chairs seems to be nothing but more bags and boxes of who knows what still haven't found that washer and dryer that there's bases to those could be back here in this corner I mean, look how monstrous this unit is, guys. It's its own zip code. We'll come up this way a little bit. I'll take you down another pathway, kind of, sort of. I mean, we've got beautiful furniture everywhere. All these little boxes are filled with who knows what. We're still going to go through those together. Try and come back this way. We've got a real brass bed. And this thing's like, let's see, I'm 5'8". This is like barely, almost as tall as me. So this is a heavy duty brass bed. We got a pirate trunk. What's in the trunk? I don't know. I got a couple cool concrete eagles. Just giving you a sneak peek. I don't want you to get too bored. I know going through some of this is getting kind of monotonous and kind of boring. But look over here, guys. What's in there? I don't know. As you come over this way, I don't know. I see another Schwinn bike over there of some sort. Hope it's a Schwinn. But see all of this stuff back in here. No idea. No clue. It seems like things are packed in just the darndest places. The gold was in with perfume and there wasn't much gold in the jewelry box that we found so far. But was that the only jewelry box? I don't know. Looks like some jewelry boxes over in here, but that's got a tag, so probably for sale. But we'll see. Just want to give you a quick just rundown back in here. There's so much more stuff that we've got to get out of this unit. Got to get the Sprinter van going so we can get the big stuff home. And uh, here, let's do a little uh, 
boy if I can get there give me one second got myself kind of boxed in I'm gonna do some hop skipping and jumping but like see look at this buffet here this buffet is gorgeous sorry you didn't want to see that there's a mirror and I took my shirt off to cool off because really 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 hot but what I wanted to see is do we have stuff in these drawers oh yeah we do I look like some personal pictures so maybe we got more personal stuff down in there but yeah but no this this thing is just absolutely gorgeous and that would work and there's so much more so much more I don't know what all's in here but there's a lot all right bear it back all right guys I pulled some stuff up from the front or from the back to the front we'll go through it I just want to say though I found something else really cool in the back that'll be for the next video uh, let's see what we got we had something pretty cool in this video already we found the money in this one so that's pretty good uh, back there Christmas stuff uh, something was kind of cute I thought check this out we got a nutcracker bowling set it's a bunch of nutcrackers with a couple balls knocked down and I found a whole thing of railroad spikes that they were doing art with little mouse and cheese stay away from the tracks mouse and then this box here looks like maybe more brand new stuff nope what the heck Oh, those are those things that go on the back of a phone. Okay, not ear pods. Not even close at all. Then we got protects, a little protect thing. That looks new. Chargers, new. Oh, sharp smartwatch. Brand new. That's probably going to be $20, $30. That's $30, 40, compared to 40 So that's going to be a couple bucks. I don't even know where to sit with it. Probably should have thought this through. Um, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. That doesn't look expensive. Well, maybe not. It's pretty nice. Adrian Viadani. I think I looked this up before and it was like a $50 watch. So, not the same one, but definitely a watch. Alright, so that's pretty good. What else we got in here? Oh, a little bit of Halloween stuff. We got a watch guard. Bug repellent fan. That's nice to have. Uh, just a little rack, towel rack. Oh, we got more. <gasps> All right. So I didn't know what to expect. Yeah, it looks like we got more jewelry, guys. Oh, is this silver? Oh, please be silver coins. Be silver coins. It's very heavy. You can't tell me there's nothing in here. Seriously, nothing. It was two hundred dollars, whatever it was. Oh. All right, well, we'll have to look and make sure that we don't have it in our thing. Okay, make sure there's nothing under there. Oh, this is a really nice case. I thought coins at first. Nothing, though. I'm going to find, here, let me find something to set this stuff on real quick. Kind of got a mess going. All right. All right, come on, come on, come on, come on. Ooh, it's in there. Probably sterling silver. Yep, sterling silver. Yay, we found more jewelry. Can you believe that? More jewelry. Oh, that felt empty. One little thing in there. Yep, empty. Nope, oh, that fell out. Uh, that feels pretty cheap. I'll look at it good, but I think that's cheapy, cheapy, cheap stuff there. All right, let's see what else we got here. Something in this one. Ooh, that's pretty. Keep sterling. Nope. Oh. Sterling silver. Sterling silver and cubic zirconia. A little set right there. Cute, 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 cute. Not the gold we're looking for, but cute. Come on, diamond bracelet. Oh, woo. Let's see. Platinum clad silver and diamond jewelry. So it's silver, sterling silver from QVC. So, all right. That's not bad. It says and diamond, but you know that's not real. Boy, if that was real, woo hoo. If that was real, I'll definitely fill you in later, but it, uh, it's not. What's this? We got another one. What's this? This was uh, seventy dollars. Originally one fifty, so that's going to be at least sterling silver. Let's see. Compare. Compare. Started out at one hundred and fifty bucks. Where's the link? How do you open it? There it is. I look for the sterling mark. I don't see a sterling mark on there, but that's got to be sterling at one hundred and fifty bucks. Look at that better later, but I would say sterling for sure. Doesn't look like anything else in this little box on top. I can move it out of the way. Uh-oh. 
thought that box went deeper. I was excited. It did not go very deep. That's what she said. All right, let's see. We got this. Got some. Uh, that oh, that looks like sterling for sure. That big old pin right there is definitely sterling silver. You know what? That there might be a lot of sterling in here. Look at that ring. Well, this might be some good stuff in here too. Oh yeah, there's some good stuff in here. That's gonna be sterling silver. Right there. Something Mexico. Yeah, Mexican made, that's definitely silver. That'll be silver for sure. That big thing, that looks like sterling. It's kinda eh, it's got a wrong weight to it though. For sterling. I think that that's not gonna be sterling. I'll look at it again later, but I don't think so. Well, we got this little ring here. That's probably sterling silver. Well, I'm not seeing no markings. Maybe not. But if it's Mexican, if it's made in Mexico, sometimes they don't mark everything. And this is awfully heavy, too. But I don't think we're going to get sterling on this one. Let me see. It doesn't say nothing. It kind of has the look of silver, though. I don't know. We'll have to look at that better later. That could be the, the little baggie of junk could be the best part. All right, come on, more jewelry. What do we got? What do we got? Oh, that's like a beaded. Well, let's see what we got here. Let's see what we got here. Whatever it is, it's got a lot of glass beads on it. Oh, look, it's like a little shirt. That's a tiny shirt. But those are like real glass beads. I wonder if this is an antique or... That's old stuff there. Look at that itty bitty shirt. Boy, people were tiny back then. They say we used to have giants. No, we just had tiny people. Made the rest of us look like giants. All right, here we go, here we go, come on. Oh, this is a big one. Oh, this is, I don't know what that is. Be a watch, be a watch, be a watch, be a nice. Ooh, this is nice. What is it? It's, uh, gossip watches. Hey, I think we found a gossip watch actually already. That could be that. All right, we've got something else here. Oh, yeah. oh, stuff in the middle. Got another sterling ring. Can't tell what that is. That watch there doesn't have an other oh, name. Just says quartz. So probably a cheap watch. Yeah, it was like ten dollars. We got that. There's a little brooch. That looks like that might be sterling silver. And then we got this here. Come on, it's gonna be another watch. This looks like the box. Oh, that watch I was just talking about, that was a $50 watch. That don't say nothing on the bottom. There it goes. Yeah, I think it's just like that one. It has the foam like the same. It, it's just like the silver one that I found, only in gold. And once again, that's a $50 watch. So, it's a $100 box. A couple hundred dollar box with the other jewelry, so. Yeah, thanks. Getting there quick. Oh, we can find what was in that blue one, man. I think that was going to be an expensive piece there. Looks like we got some doll clothes. Some doll, like, toys, little rollers, and kitchen set, and a cutting board. And there's an old uh, Girl Scout USA outfit. Isn't that cool? Back when girls didn't have penises. Look badges for cleaning and stuff. Oh, what happened? Oh, oh, oh guys, look, a whole bag. All right, we're gonna get back to that one. Let's look to it. I think we already went over here. That looks like a book down there, another book. So let's check out, we got somewhere to dump this stuff. All right, we got old spectacle glasses in there. Some turquoise, and I'd say probably sterling silver. That looks like real turquoise. For sure. This whole thing's full. What do we got in here? Woohoo! Come on, one gold, that's not gold, but one gold ring would do her. And these, they were two dollars when she got them, so they're not sterling, most likely. But they could be. We'll have to look them up, we'll have to look at those real close, make sure that there's no winners in there. Right here, we got this little ring has no markings. I think it's just cheap. I think that's just a cheapy little pin. I wasn't expecting this box of stuff to take that long, but I wasn't expecting jewelry either. All right, well, that was only like five bucks, so 
I don't think this is any of the expensive jewelry in here. Copper. Fishing lures. Yeah, that might be sterling. Compare at, let's see, our product, that's yeah, not sterling. No, yeah, this might just be all cheapy cheap stuff. Yeah, those are cheap, those are cheap. It's all five dollar jewelry. Oh, here we go. Hey, it's the same kind of ring box. We found a good ring in. Ooh, that's pretty. A little cross, that's probably sterling. Right there, mark on the back. 925. So, nice little sterling cross in there. Okay. Junk. I'm seeing just cheap bracelets and pins and little keychains and stuff like that. It's a cool pendant, but definitely very, very cheap. But a bit of a cheap. All this is just cheap jewelry. Cheap jewelry. Cheap jewelry. But stuff, people like to go through this at the yard sales, that's for sure. Like to try and find their treasures. And you put a buck a piece on this stuff, it adds up really fast. The only thing that I know that wouldn't be a buck would be the uh, cross. That's a pretty heavy, dude, heavy cross, too. So That's all that's in that box. I was not expecting that. I really didn't think we were going to find any more jewelry in a random box. That's a pretty damn random box. I mean, look at that. We got like car chargers, <laughs> bug repellents, things like that, and then jewelry. And then jewelry. I'll take it. I'd like to know what's in that blue box, though. That's a heavy duty, nice blue box right there. All right, so that was a winner, winner, winner box. That was a winner box for sure. Everything else might seem stupid. All right, now I pulled these out because I thought this might be something nice. Whoa, they're tied together. All right, this little guy here, just to nothing. It says, I think it was just a little first aid box, a little antique first aid box. Yeah, it's here. Did you leave the car running? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so I thought I heard the car. Got little nesting dolls, little scissors and brushes and things of that sort. A little milk glass. Creams and containers. Looks like we got little perfume bottles. Now, they still have the squirters on them. Some of those are worth some money. Oh, this smells really like Avon, though, down in here. Cute little bottles. Get those bottles cleaned up and clear uh, little nachos. Little birdhouse. There's really nothing down in here. A bunch of little nicky knacks like that. A little shoe. It's a shoe! I think it's a pin cushion. All right, nothing in that box. That box looks kind of cool and interesting, but it was not. All right, how about this one? Antique box? Does that have antiques? It has something. It has something. What is it? Well, that looks like Roseville. That's Roseville. That's, that's got some chips on it, is it? Yeah, that's Roseville. So, if it not had the chip in it, that'd be a pretty good piece, but even like that, you're probably $10. $10. Would have been a lot more without a chip in it. This all rose one. Rose would be all nice stuff. Huh? Yep. That's a nice piece right there. The rose will. Have to look that one up. That one could be some money right there. Yep. We live in Rossville and we're getting Roseville. Okay, carefully go down in there. Don't break it. All right. What we got? This is all rose though. Right? That'd be good anyway. Yeah. This looks like it too. Yep. Roseville number six six three. Probably a lid that goes on that down in there somewhere. So she had her Roseville box. Yep, Roseville pottery. That's got a big chip in it, so that's gonna really hurt the value. Pottery people don't like chips, unless they're Doritos. Uh, oh, this is a Roseville piece. Yeah, look at that. Number four, six, eight, and it's a twelve inch. Pretty nice, that's not chipped up, so that could have some good value. All right, well, not the kind of stuff I was really hoping to find in a box, but it, it is worth money, and I will take it. It is at least good glassware. All right, what's in the box? Uh, oh, this says, 
I don't know if it's supposed to be bathroom, I think, B-T-R-M, but it feels like glass, a bunch of glassware. And I guess it could have been in their bathroom. Did they have Roseville in their bathroom? No, oh, that's a cold and white monkey. It's a monkey. It's five dollars. No. This could be bathroom decor, but what's in bathroom? That's another monkey. I can feel it. Let's see if we have any jewelry boxes working. Jewelry boxes go in bathrooms. Clocks, clock holders in bathrooms. I'm not seeing no jewelry boxes. Oh, 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 what's that? Oh, oh, it's a bar of soap. I thought it was a jewelry box. Yeah. Yeah, nope, I see no jewelry boxes in there. This bathroom knickknacks. Yep. Bottles, knickknacks from a bathroom. Not gonna bore you with those. I mean, if we're opening that up later and I find gold bars, I will definitely, definitely fill you in on that. This looks like more Christmas. It is just all, just new, new in package Christmas stuff. Woo! Is that trying to jump out of my hands? Let's see. There looks like a stuffed Santa down in the bottom and whatever this is. A squirrel. A squirrely, squirrely squirrel. Robert Stanley. It was thirteen dollars. All right. Nothing too grand in there. We're almost to the end of our adventure today. Ooh, what is this? What do we got? Uh, I think it's spices. I was hoping this would be jewelry. Oh, well, they don't have jewelry in it. Um, we got matchbooks, screws, a bottle cap. Just a syringe that looked like it was used for maybe like giving a dog medicine or something. More matchsticks, matchsticks. And in the bottom we got a pocket knife and some matchsticks and a hole punch. And here we got, I think they're just, envelope, just envelopes with nothing in them. I think that's all that was in here. Yeah, a spice rack that they're not using as a spice rack that is actually even missing a drawer. Now, we got this little pet cot, little pet travel cot for your pet, brand new. That's gotta be a $3 bill. Got a suitcase here that has, ooh, is this it? This, no, that's not it. Okay, so there is somewhere in this unit, the owner's, got, the owner's husband got a hold of the facility and wanted my phone number, which is a no-no. But he wanted something he said that was sentimental, I said, you know, told the facility to let, let me know and I'll work through you guys to find what it, what it was. And come to find out he's looking for a Shirley Temple doll. So if we find it, we'll give him to him. He said he's not sure it's in here, but if it is, he'd like to have it back. And we'll have to check it out and make sure it's not filled with gold bars or something because, you know, pick up a little doll and it weighs 100 pounds, something suspicious. There we go. There's a caution, slow moving senior. And did I mention, yeah, I did mention, I found something cool in the back, guys. This feels like all, I'm going to reach down in there, but I'm going to go on a limb that this is all new clothes. And it is. Look, all new clothes. Oh, I just ripped the tag off that one, whatever that was. So, once again, it's just, I'm not going to go through this. It looks like Marshalls, all that kind of stuff. The same kind of stuff we keep finding, just discounted clothes. But other than that, I think we're going to wrap this one up. We did find some jewelry, so we're ending on a high note. And we found all that money earlier. We'll have to see how much that was. I'm saying there's gotta be 400 bucks there, at least. Still barely scratched to the surface. There's stuff all the way back. And like I said, I uncovered something really cool. I can't bring it out yet, because I can't quite get to it, but I uncovered it and I seen it and we'll see it together next time. But until then, you guys have a great day. Comment the end, that once again, that you made it all the way with us. And if you did, I really appreciate you hanging out and sticking it through and watching my boring self go through all this stuff. But we do it for you. We want you guys to see everything that's out here. And it's a lot of fun. So until next time, I love each and every one of you. We will see you soon. Have a great week. Bye-bye.